All right, now we're gonna focus on the comparison operators and learn how to build up our conditions inside where clause. The comparison operators, as I said, it is used in order to compare two values. And it is the most basic way how to filter data using SQL. Okay, so now in order to understand them, let's have the following tasks. First, find all customers whose score is less than 500. So that means we're going to focus on the customers table and there is no specifications about the columns. We're going to use select star from customers. So now let's run this. As you can see, we have all the customers, but we need to filter the data score less than 500. So we're going to use the where clause. The column is score, the less operator, and then we're going to type 500. So let's check the results and run it. So we have only one customer whose score is less than 500. Okay, so now in order to understand why we had only one customer at the results, I'm going to show you what the database has done once we executed our query. So we said select star from customers. The database is going to focus on the customers. We said star, that means we need all the columns at the results. And then since we have where clause, it's going to filter the data. So it's going to like go through all the records and try to find whether it's fulfill the condition or not. So I'm going to use the like and dislike button to say whether this is true or false. So the first customer, her score is less than 500. That means it's going to be shown in the result because it fulfilled the condition. And then we have the next one score is 900 it is not less than 500 so that means false the next one the same 750 it is not less than 500 the next one is interesting it is exactly 500 but since the condition it says less than 500 it not fulfill the condition then the null it is anyway false so that's why we had only one customers at the result Okay, so now let's have another task and it says find all customers whose score is less than or equal to 500. So almost the same, but we have here as well the customers that are equal to 500. So let's check that. We're going to have the same query, so we'll not change anything over here, only the operator. So we need the less than, so it's going to stay like this, but we need as well equal to. So there's another operator, it's called less than equal to, and it looks like this. So we have them both like this, and let's query and see what the result. So as you can see, now we have the customer number four, Martin. He has score 500 and now it should be shown on the result. So we have the first one, Maria, less than 500. And we have Martin. It has exactly like the 500. So this is the less than equal to. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Let's go with another operator with the following task. Find all customers whose score is higher or equal to 500. So that means it's almost the same, but we need to use the other operator greater than equal to. So it looks like this greater or higher than equal. And let's check the result. So as you can see here, now we have all those scores that are higher than 500. So we have John with 900. We have George with 750 and Martin stays here because his score is equal to 500. So as you can see, it's really easy. All right. So now we have one more last task. It says find all non-German customers. So let's try to solve that. We're going to stay with the table customers. So select star from customers and we need to filter now the data using not score, but the country. So we're going to type now here country and since it says non-german customers that means the country should not be equal to germany so the not equal operator it looks like this and then we need the value germany so with this query you are saying okay give me all the customers whose country is not equal to germany so let's run that 
and as you can see here we don't have a country called germany in the results and you could see like or have the same result using this operator as well it says as well not equal so if i run that we're gonna get the same result so you could use either one of them there is no difference between them okay so now let's see how the database solve that we say select star from customer that means that database is going to focus on the customer star means all the columns as usual so we're going to put it over here we have on the where it says country not equal germany so the database is going to focus on this column for the condition so let's see the first customer the country equal to germany so that's mean it's false we will not see it as a result the next one the country is not equal to germany so that is positive we're gonna see it at the results the next one is the same the country is not equal to germany we will see it as well at the results and the first customer the country is equal to germany so that means it is false we will not see it at the results and the last one the country is not equal to Germany, so it is true. We will see it at the result. So that's why we saw three customers at the result. All right, so now we covered all those operators inside the comparisons. They are pretty easy. They always like compare two values. And I would suggest that you go and like play with them until you understand how they work. But as a next, we're going to go and start working on the logical operators. They are like a little bit more difficult. So don't worry about it. I'm going to explain that in details, in examples and everything. But they are very important using SQL because you will be end up using them a lot. All right. So that was it for the first group of operators. Next, we're going to talk about the other group, the logical operators and or not. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.